Hello folks, it's the Siggy. What I'm talking about on this video is boss units. I've been asked a, a number of times, uh, most recently by a guy on Windows by the name of Old Dog. Boss units, what are they? Boss units are generally the, the units that you cannot buy, that you cannot make that are given out in faction events, global conquests, etc. Now over in Research Center, when you're level 32 and above, um, you've got an unlock here that says boss units to tier two. Before you even consider that, make sure you've got con uh, Fusion 5 undone. Okay. What does it allow you to do? Well, as it says, anything that you win, these big events that would normally, or these big items that would normally cost stars, so to upgrade them, it's going to cost stars. This is why it doesn't become a priority for everybody. There are a couple of exceptions, um, but I think that's normally been false. Let's take a look at a couple of units that uh, I've got here. Get into the habit of doing this for yourself anyway. Have a look at your army. When we look on on my defensive stats, um, I have some Whirlwind level 3s. Um, they give a, a significant defense. We know that the game tries to default your best units. So what can we do with these with these particular boss things. Let me go back. If you have not got the part unlocked in the research center, you will not see what I'm seeing. Or you'll not see what I see. If I go into um, my uh, airfield and look in fusion, now the highest units that I've got that I can upgrade in fact, are there other units in there? Stash? Oh, do you know what? Oh, I've got to scroll across. I don't know if I can really be bothered. Ba -da -dum -da 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 -da. Talk amongst yourselves. Hang on, this isn't in order. Well, that doesn't help. Oh, do you know what? Sometimes game loft. You make no bloody sense. Okay. Let's go back onto fusion. The items that I can fuse. The radiance that was the back end of um, some award but you'll see it's a hundred and twenty gold stars if you want to spend that that's up to you um, for one unit personally I think that's expensive but again horses for courses some of you guys are richer than me or you have your alternative ways but you probably wouldn't be listening in this language how hidden was that so what we can do is we confuse them. Um, we can also give them some power-ups. Now, unfortunately, not every unit is available to do a power-up with. Uh, for example, let's have a look. There is a Magnum 6 here, although it's a boss unit. For this particular one, I can star that up, or I can actually give that um, any power up for hearts only. So there's all these different little exceptions. I don't know where I got that from. Maybe under a rock. But not all the units that you win are always there. The ones that are, generally, as I say, when you try and add anything to them, it's going to cost you gold stars as well. If you want to use that to protect them, by all means do so. Now just going back to a particular unit, providing I've not lost my train of thought altogether. Let's go back onto our army and we're going to go back onto this um, Thunderbird. Now will it let me see these individually? Yeah. Now my top units under stats. There's a big question, what do I do with them? Well, if something's got a fantastic defense, 
you leave the, the, the hell alone. You just don't touch it. You don't ever use it in a battle. If something's an attacking unit, fine. By all means, use it. But don't bloody waste it. Um, unless your faction insists upon it, you don't have to donate them. I do, because I win a lot as well. But that's just me. I do not donate your really, really good units. What I tend to do is where I can't level them up, where I can't add power-ups to them, it's going to cost me gold stars, I'll use them until their strength gets down to virtually nothing. And then just donate them. Easy come, easy go for me. We can... And this is what I've actually done on mine. Those large units... Uh, not there. Those large units... What we can do is we can go into our war assembler. And we can start adding these. Now we know that these have got an incredible... Um, defense. So an additional upgrade is you know what we're going to actually add on there. The items that I will add, use, etc. Subjective. The reality is I... there's a couple that really work and the rest if you haven't got them it doesn't really matter a shit. But we'll save that for another day. Do bear in mind if the health of it is already right down, you know, we're, we're down to uh, a fraction of that, upgrading it will not increase its health. The only way you can increase its health is when you get lucky and VIP lets you... Oops. VIP gives you the bonus of... How do I get back there? Oh, I've got 11 months and 3 weeks of VIP left. Hmm. Um, but it will actually give you uh, revive a uh, random unit 25% chance 25% chance um, it's probably more like 2.5% chance no ok anything else you can do with them uh, they're ok they're nice to gloat with. I like just going around attacking people and thinking I only have to use one unit. But I hope that actually answers your questions on, on boss units. If there's anything I need to add, let me know. Thanks very much. You've been watching the Siggy.